hi welcome 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 to joy fido international my name is joy fido and today i'll be chatting with you about exciting things about life um you know i've been doing a few series uh with you guys recently uh where i talked about my advice to younger generation uh but i want to have a new one and if you've been following me on facebook you will notice i i put up a lot of things these are thoughts that just come to my head from time to time and they are real they're like life thoughts and i thought it's not enough for me to just have these thoughts i have to share these thoughts with the world um they were divinely given to me so i i just believe it's another way god lets me know things and and so typical me when these things happen i write them down and i share them on facebook so i've, I've always said follow me on facebook please do because these thoughts are really really uh, life building they're inspiring and i i learn from them as well they're lessons so i call them lessons of life or rules of life so there's going to be series of things like this from time to time just different ways of again trying to inspire us and help us to grow as people so welcome on board okay so um if you've been really keeping up with the news recently you you hear there's so much been talked about on mental health this is something i am very curious about and very very interested in and why is that because like everyone says uh mental health is something that's not visible nobody sees your brain nobody sees your your mind which is where the men mental comes from nobody sees what is actually going on in your in your thoughts so because that is happening lots of people end up struggling so much it's not the kind of pain that you can you know if you've cut somebody's skin and blood is flowing and they go i'm in pain and you go yeah i can see the pain i can see that you're actually hot but mental pain, nobody sees it. So nobody really understands that people are hurting inside. And what creates this kind of hurt? It's a lot of thoughts. The amount of thoughts that go through our mind and our brain. And I've tried explaining a few times that, you know, we are what we think about. And if we give room to the thoughts that goes on in our head, then we act it out. And the interesting thing is there are two thoughts that, there are two voices that constantly go on in our head, which is where you hear the positive thoughts and the negative thoughts. So say for instance, you said, I wanna do this. I wanna, I wanna take a trip to London, for instance. Another voice goes, yeah, but why do, you, why do you wanna go to London? Is there really a need for going to London? Um, where are you going to get the money from and when you do go to London, what, what are you going to do there? So, these two voices are constantly at each other. One says, do this and the other says, no, don't do it. I will give you reasons why you shouldn't do it. And so, we are then in this crossroad where we constantly have to either listen to this one or that one. And then, when we act on any of them, it becomes who we are. So, you then hear people say, that person is so positive, it sees good in everything. Because it's actually giving room to that positive side of the voice, where it says, no, you can do it, go on, go on with it, go on, go get, go get it done. And then when the person listens to the other side, which is, no, you cannot, why, look at you, how can you possibly be able to do that? No, no, that's not for people like you. Then you hear people say, that person is constantly negative. So these constant voices that creates this mental issue that we're all dealing with. And when you allow, give room to the negative to overpower the positive, then you start to struggle. And that's when you hear people really digging deeper into what they call depression. Because you then tend to see only the dark side of things. Okay, so I've, I've tried to explain a little bit about what I'm... Um, going to talk about today so the, the topic I decided to give this is life is a series of journey I mean life is a journey 
of series of experiences. Yeah, so life is a journey of experiences. That's what it is. Life is a journey of experiences. So what that's trying to say to us is, we are constantly experiencing things. So let's think back from when you were a child. And so you learned how to crawl, that was an experience. You learned how to walk, that was an experience. You learned how to talk. And you learned how to now start going to school. You learned how to eat, so for instance, you know when Sometimes we're trying to eat and your parents now go, oh no, you actually should use a fork and a knife. You know, hold, hold the fork on the left hand and hold the knife on the right hand. And you know, so you're being taught things constantly. That's what life is. It's just a series of things happening. And so we need to be aware of that. It, it, it was, it felt good when I understood, when that just came to me. Life is a series of experiences. So once we understand that, now the big thing that's going to come out of that is you're going to now realize that constantly when things are not happening right, you just have to remind yourself that this is just another experience. So every day we experience new things. So now we're an adult, we've grown up and things are happening. We've moved to a new country, for instance. We've moved into a new city. We've moved into a new home. We have new neighbors. That is just life. And so it's going to be continuously experiencing new things. Why this is so important is, if a situation happens to be what you are not looking for, you, you've hit a deadlock. Oh no, I wasn't thinking this was going to be like this. This is really getting at me. Now, if that thing is within your power, if it, if it is within your control and you're able to change it, if it's something you can change, change it. Change it. But the big thing that will come out of that is you have learned a new lesson. You have learned some lesson from that. This is interesting because uh, my daughter recently, she's in university and she don't have schoolwork. And she put it on um, a, a key, you know, the memory key. And she called me and said she had 7,000 words and it's disappeared. Somehow she lost it in the key. I, you know, these things happen. I, I lost one too, not too long ago. I had an external hard drive and lots of pictures that I cherish were in there. And mine was by accident, it fell down. And by the time I put it back in, it was all gone. Everything was wiped out. So she experienced that and she was in, in, you can well imagine what she's experiencing, really, really distraught and upset and wound up and she's like, I spent days putting this together, what am I going to do? And she called me and we had a good talk about it and I said to her, well, it's a good experience. She didn't get it. She's like, why are you saying this is a good experience? I said, but you're starting to become a lawyer, a solicitor. Now, imagine you would carried on like that. Everything was going honky-dory. And then you have this major case that's coming your way. There was actually a movie we watched that was something similar that, in that light. And you lost all your evidence. Every information you got from this person just disappeared from a key. How would you have felt about that? So the big message out of this is, you now have to protect all your documents. I know we've been told over and over, back up and back up and back up and back up. That's the, that's the computer age we're in. And so for her now, cause I'm in school as well studying and I know what I'm struggling with. I know how hard it is to put information together and you lose all of it. And luckily we were advised, email it to yourself. Okay, so there are other ways you could put it on the cloud, which are getting access to different things. You could buy all those different options. But now, you know, I remember someone saying to me once, there's this thing called the dark hole. And people are worried that what if in future all this information we put online disappears? 
is something worth thinking about because then what images would our generate our younger generations get of us we don't know but that's a bigger picture to think about but for now the big message that came out of that was for her to now look at other ways of protecting her documents so that was an experience for her deal with things constantly on a daily basis we have things hitting us constantly um, you may have a job that you really don't like you really hate waking up to that job um, then you remind yourself you say but I got paid for this job so I'm gonna just keep going to it now remind yourself life is a series of experiences so your job now is just one experience now this is where you come in can you control the situation because that's the message i have now if you can control the situation do something about it there are ways around it you may either now open up your heart to enjoy the job open your mind to enjoy it open your mind to be happier with your colleagues because usually jobs are, are made of people and sometimes it's just the people around you there that are causing the pain that you're dealing with. You just don't like being in their environment. So the choices are, if you can control this situation that you're not happy with, this experience that you're not happy with, look at a way of manipulating the environment. Can you be friendlier with these people? Can you be more open with them? Can you be more excited with them? You know, excited about them. Can you come to work and be happy and they can say, oh, look at her, she's happy today. Oh, wow. Remember, you reflect yourself. Every time you look in the mirror, what you see there is a reflection of what comes back to you from the world. So maybe the image you're taking there is not that great. And so the minute you appear looking that way, they too reflect back to you what you have given them. So if that being the case and you think, this job is paying my bills, is taking care of my, my, my needs right now. Let me be a bit more open to and, and, you know, enjoy being in the midst of these people. And then I'll carry it on till I can change it. So that's you being able to control the situation. If you feel you really do not want to be here, you really, really feel that bad about it, then move out of that situation come out of it find another job i know lots of people will be saying to me things like it's easier said than done oh yeah it's good enough for you to sit out there and say oh yeah get out of it because uh, there's nowhere else i can go then you have the other option which is be a bit more open to these people be friendlier be nicer maybe buy them a little something Trust me, years ago when I used to work, um, no matter how difficult that workplace is, I coped and I survived and I knew my little tricks. I learned to be nice to people. I would just offer to go out and buy your lunch. Oh, do you want something? Can I get it for you? If I'm going to get tea, I'm going to get tea. Does anyone want tea? You know, so the minute you are nice to people, People will be nice to you back. Yes, I know, granted, there are some people that no matter what you do, they are never going to be nice to you. But somehow at the back of their mind, something reminds them that this is a nice person. And so when they are trying to be really nasty to you, they will think about it. So that's an instance of experiences that we deal with. So this experience may be pleasant, may be exciting, may be really painful. But if it's something you can control, that's the big message here. Do something about it to change it. You know why this is important? If you don't change the experience, the experience will sometimes destroy you. And I know people who are stuck in places that they don't want to be in. And you know what eventually happens? They get destroyed by that situation. So our journey of life is just a series of experiences. Every day we wake up, something new happens. No, no two days are the same. And so if in your journey, you come across an experience you're not happy with, 
do something about it. Because if you don't, that experience will do something about you. So the, the more we overcome difficult situations, the stronger we become in life, the more mature we become in life. I know lots of people think maturity comes with age. No, not necessarily. There are lots of people who are numerically old, as in numbers, they're, they're 50 years old, they're 70 years old, they're 80 years old. Which, remember we said life is a series of experiences, so they've had series of experiences for over this period of time they've been here. That does not necessarily mean they've been able to overcome all of them. And this is where, remember we started with the mental health. If every time you hit a difficult situation, you break down. You hit a difficult situation, you break down. Now where is the maturity in that? Because one thing that became really clear to me is every one of us on this earth, seven billion of us plus, experience things. I don't know if that's news to you, <coughs> but every one of us experience things in life. This is interesting because what happens is everybody sits in their corner, you know, I'm going through my things, you're going through your things, she's going through her things, and then we all, in our different things, think that our situation is the worst one. If only she experienced what I'm going through, um, I have no kids, um, I wish I had kids, Look at me, my life is a mess because I don't have kids. So that's her experience. My experience, I have kids. I have kids and, and now I don't have money to feed them. If only people know what I'm going through. And then his experience. I'm in school. I'm struggling to pass my exams. This course is so difficult. What a nightmare. If only people out there knew what I'm going through. So do you see how different scenarios exist? And then you hear people, I am so ill. I'm suffering from major illness. It could be cancer, it could be high blood pressure, it could be um, diabetes, it could be anything. My life is the roughest on earth. Nobody else understands what I'm going through. But you see, the thing is, no matter the experience you're going through, that is your experience. It does not mean the other person who has their unique experience is not str struggling or suffering. So all of us have been faced with this world. There is no book that guides you on how to go through life. I mean, the Bible is the nearest to it, which it is more than just a book. But lots of us don't have that knowledge to say, let me understand what the, Bible, the message the Bible is trying to give me. Because there's so many rules in the Bible that are so true day in, day out. It never changes. It's the one book. That's the nearest to guiding us through life. Otherwise, everyone tries. Psychologists, you name us. Philosophers. Everybody thinks they can. But what everybody doesn't know is your unique experience. And so when you're dealing with your unique experience, you think you're the only one struggling. I was just watching the news now and there was this young girl they were interviewing on mental health. And she said when she was going through her depression, she thought she was the only one that was struggling until they had the counseling team that counseled her. And then she understood that so many people were going through similar things she was going through. So that's the message. People out there think because they are struggling, other people are having a ball. And I, I hear that all the time. Like people could look at me and because you, you don't see pain written all over my face, you think, oh, you are such a lucky person. Look at your life is so great. No, we all have experiences in life and we will continue. For as long as you're breathing, there will always be experiences. 
So the, the more, the sooner you are able to overcome experiences, the more mature your life becomes, the stronger you become. At this stage now, you cannot be in a position to guide other people. And that's what I'm going through now. Because I've had series and series of experiences that I know to me may have been so tough and so rough and so difficult. But now I can sit back and realize this, this message that came to me telling me life is just a series of experiences just made me understand how massive this is. It's just been experiences. And they will continue to come. Now, this is the exciting thing about this message. The experiences will not get any better as you grow older. That's a big message. So this is where I call it rules of life or, or secrets of life. Or There's one I call souls. Rules of life is all about or lessons of life because these are things that I have experienced. Life doesn't get any easier as you grow older. And I can say this because I have children. And I look at my children and I'm just trying to see how I can help for them to understand that if you think things are rough now, they get rough as you grow older. I mean, I'm a, I have my big girl who, who thinks that she wakes up really early to go to work and, and comes back late. And she says, it is so hard, it is so rough, it is so... But when I first came to England years ago, I had her. I had my daughter and I was still going to school and I was working. I did those three all in one go. And today, I am still going to school and I am still working. Has it changed? Has my life become easier? No. So what has happened is now I am more aware. I am now more informed. What happens is you develop, you develop strength to be able to handle no matter how difficult the situation is. That's what happens. So as it gets rougher, as you get older, because you've experienced it and overcome and experienced and overcome, you become more adaptable. You now can handle situations when they come. So that's what you need to, that's the big message you need to get from here. Life does not get any easier as you get older. It's just you become stronger to handle life. Now you can handle things as they come. You can handle experiences as they come. You can, you can change things that you want to change. You cannot take control of things you don't want to happen. Because when they happen and you go, this is not the one I'm really looking for. You can say, you know what, I need to change this. That's what happens with you being more and more matured. You being more and more aware. You being more and more able to overcome situations because they will come but you have to learn to overcome them so every situation in life comes with its own challenges that's that's a big one we really must get that into our head we really must drill that into our psyche because you remember, you remember the story I gave of a child just growing up and learning to crawl and then learning to walk and learning to talk and learning to go to school. Now, at every stage in this child's life, everything this child is experiencing is a challenge. Because every new thing is new to you. You're not used to this. Your body has to adapt. Your body has to learn. So every situation starts with a challenge. Until you get used to that situation, then you say, I know this situation. This also happens with my students here when they come to train in, in hair braiding or weaves or extension. So they go, this is hard. I say, yes, because you haven't done it before. So that's the challenge. Anything you haven't done before will be hard. 
because you were not just dropped on this earth with that thing you you hear things like that's that person's ta talent that's that person's passion you may have a passion for something like i have passion for hair i have passion for cooking i have passion for traveling that's why i'm doing a course in traveling just because i have a passion in traveling doesn't mean i know everything about it it just means i love it so now i'm taking a course to learn how to be good at it just because i had a passion for hair did not mean i knew all the hairstyles i had to take trainings to be good at doing hair so anything you have passion for you have to learn to be good at it so every situation you're dealing with in life will come with a, a challenge that's your opportunity now to learn to be good at it learn to be good at that thing so it's a huge message for all of us including me because I haven't stopped learning. I want to learn any new thing. Anything I see that I like and I would like to know how that is done, I take up a training in it. So every situation you're dealing with in life comes with a challenge. And I give you examples. You just got married. Wow, look. What an exciting day. Celebrations, big party, the fancy clothes, the beautiful things, the 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 friends the the garden the... yes that's that day one but after all of that is over and then you and your husband get into the house and lock the door what goes on behind the door nobody now knows it's between you and your husband and that's when the challenge starts so now you're having to live with someone you've not lived with before both of you didn't know what they, you know, you, you, you were not brought up in the same home and the same neighborhood or like I said to my kids, even my children that were brought up in the same house, they, 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 they sometimes do not agree. They disagree very well and have a huge issue over some things. So if children raised in the same home could disagree, can you imagine completely new, two new people living together? not disagreeing that's the challenge that comes with marriage and this is a big message that anybody out there trying to get married always be married struggling with says my husband is the worst thing on earth everybody says that most women say that then the men will go my wife is the worst human being on earth yeah because you're trying to understand this person you still haven't understood this person you know, I think that one outside is better. Oh no, that one out there is better. I should have married the other one. That's the challenge that comes with being with a brand new person that you didn't know before. You may have dated for years. Now you've locked the door and you've called yourself husband and wife. Same thing with having children. Children come with challenge. So this for me, because I have children, I, I, I know lots of people who not by their fault but haven't been blessed with children yet and they think it's such an easy job look at that baby it's so cute yeah that's what you see you see a cute baby go home with that baby and live with that baby and then understand what this baby brings on the table and the same thing you want to go on a training course oh yeah everybody's got that degree let me go get it too it comes with a challenge. So everything we do in life comes with a challenge. A new job. Now you get into this place. This is how they do things here. You are new to it. This is how we do it. We set it up this way. We do this that way. We do this that way. And then all of that rolls around your head and you are beginning to panic. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. What a nightmare. Why did I come here? That's the challenge. So you have to take your time to learn it. You have new friends. You don't understand them. It's a challenge. You have to face it. You have to try and understand this person. You set up a business and you think, everybody I know, they all have businesses. I want a business too. And I remember a friend told me about a lady who 
works from home has a business from home and she's so desperate to um, set up her business in a big shop now because I run a shop I know the challenges that come with it and I'm thinking um, if she wants my advice she should come out give her some advice on how to handle this because see the thing is before I took up owning a shop I didn't know as well. I was out there thinking, oh yeah, they got shops. Why? Me too, I want a, cho a shop. It came with its own challenges. I had to deal with it. So there is nothing you are going to do in this world that will not come with a challenge. That's the big message. And so your role now is to see how you can overcome this challenge overcome it that's a big message how do i overcome this challenge so that i now become comfortable with this situation how do i overcome the issues that my marriage brings so that i can be happier in it how do i overcome the issues that my job brings so that i can love my job how do i overcome the issues that my children bring on the table so that i can love my children how can I overcome the issues that my friends are bringing to me? So if I really want to be their friend, I can overcome it. So that's what life is. Learn to overcome. Learn to deal with things. If you think it's too much, you cannot handle it. If it's within your control, walk away from it. But there are some things that you really cannot control. For example, children. How do you run away from your children if you find them really challenging? I know there are people who do that. You see movies and someone will give birth to a child and run away. But that's something you took on. You took on that responsibility. You wanted to be a mother. So whatever you take on in life, know that everything comes with challenges and your job is to overcome it in order to be able to deal with it. And, and I, I, I also forgot to really nail down on the issue of a new country. This is one of the biggest ones I really want to share with the world. Because lots of people sit in one country and think that other country is better. It's a big thing that touches my heart because I'm African and I live in the UK. And I see on news every day people dying on the sea because they are thrown into the deep sea because they are struggling to run away from their various African countries. It is sad. It is heartbreaking. Now, you may sit there and say, what do you know? I've been to Nigeria several times, which is where I'm from. And I really love to go back there. Because I see so much I never saw when I was there. And I can say, yeah, that happened because I've been out and I've seen a different country. Now, my worry for most of us is if you're not naturally that kind of person who can embrace and open your heart to new knowledge, new information, new things, leaving your country to a different country, it is not an easy job. It comes with so much challenges. I remember years ago when I came over and my relatives needed this and needed that, you know, typical, um, you've heard about the diaspora where people send money home and diaspora actually gives more money to their home country than the so-called um, donations and contributions that other countries claim they send to African countries. Diasporas give more money than that. But anyway, that's a story for another day. And so I'm now being expected to bring money home and I'm thinking, but I'm new in this country. I don't know anything. I don't know anywhere. I don't know what to do to get me started. Expectation is you are in, in, in England, you should bring money home. It comes with these challenges. The challenge was for me to settle in, the challenge was for me to know where I am, the challenge was for me to, what do I do, how do they do things here, it's a brand new place. So every, every new country brings its own challenges. Every new home brings its own challenges. 
every new city brings its own challenges. I have heard stories of people who completely relocated to a different country and faced the worst nightmare ever. I heard a story once, uh, a friend of mine told me of her friend who moved to Spain, bought a house, it wasn't like this was a poor person, came with money, bought a house, and guess what? Complete discrimination, no one spoke to her. No neighbor spoke to her. Her school, um, her daughter could not go to the local school because no one wanted to have them in their community. Imagine how heartbreaking that is. So, if you think just going to another country will, will change your life for the better, no, think again. So, this is where I, I say that the challenges of life or the difficulties of life once you overcome one another one takes its place that's how difficult life can be because you may think that until i un until i leave the until i leave nigeria and go to england my life will be a mess let me get to england my life will be perfect no because the minute you get to england the challenges of england starts and then what are you going to tell yourself oh uh, wait let me get a job. When I get a perfect job, my life will be great. And then you get into the job, and the job becomes a nightmare. Your boss is horrible to you. All your colleagues are horrible to you. You can't even. You don't feel comfortable in the midst. You 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 don't you don't feel excited at waking up in the morning to go to. And then what next? Um, let me set up my business. When I set up my business, my life will be better. Ah, you set up the business. You don't even have clients. Even when they come, they are really mean to you. They, they're nasty. They're not friendly. So do you see how the whole thing just goes from one step to the other, one step to the other? So if your frame of mind, if your state of mind, is the way you receive information is not friendly enough to accept people and to turn things around you for the better, life does not get any better no matter where you go. So this is a message for you. It is just a series of experiences for you to now understand and see how you can overcome challenges when they come and try and make things better for yourself. So I'm going to stop it here today and thank you so much for being part of me. Thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to share this with your friends. Because when I talk about these things, I talk from my heart. I talk from the experiences I've dealt with. And I want to help you make your life better. So my dream here is to inspire you to become a better person. A, a greater side of you. Wake up one morning and say, wow, I didn't know this side of me existed. That's the side of you I want you to wake up to. So share with your friends to help them do the same with their life. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So remember to subscribe to be part of us and to continue to hear from us. Join me on Facebook, Joy Fido, because I do throw out a lot of information there. Because um, like I keep saying, my, the phase of my life right now is to inspire and to support people. Uh, the experiences I'm going through right now are, are just aimed at helping other people grow. So I look forward to seeing you again, like I said, in the next video. And thank you so much and God bless you.